April 29, 2014, Tuesday. Now, this dog had a severe infection of the uterus or the womb. And this is quite common disease in old dogs, old female dogs that has not been uh, sterilized. Now, in this case, I've done several videos on uh, uh, Pymetra, so there is nothing uh, new about doing another video. So in this case study, I would want to say that many of us as vets, we are very busy, so we don't uh, bother to follow up. Now in this case, the dog actually passes a lot of reddish brown discharge from the vagina. And uh, I did advise the owner to spare her urgently. But uh, I told the owner that this dog had a poor chance of survival due to the fact that she had septicemia. And from the blood test result, as you can see, the dog has septicemia when the total white cell count is very high, 1 to 4 as compared to 6 to 17. And then the neutral fields, about 97%. And the absolute number is one two zero. Now normal dogs is there's about sixty to seventy percent, and the absolute numbers of neutral fields are actually three to eleven point five. As you can see, this is nearly ten times the higher range. And uh, furthermore, now we look at the platelets. The platelets, when they are very low, this shows that there is toxic toxicity inside the blood. So, so that. Uh, instead of being 200 to 500, it's 103. So this three, one, two, three, leukocytosis, neutrophilia, thrombocytopenia, these three are abnormal, and this shows that the dog has septicemia. Septicemia, so the chances of surviving on under the operating table during anesthesia is very poor. And so I told the owner that uh, that uh, the, the survival rates are low, less than maybe 20% based on the clinical signs and the blood test results. Now, no x-rays was done to save cost. So in any case, the dog was diagnosed with close pyometra. But uh, after one day at the clinic, the dog suddenly discharged a lot of reddish brown blood, vaginal blood, and so the closed pyometra became an open pyometra. So based on, on the chances that the dog is uh, very sick and the survival rate is very low, as well as the cost, the higher medical cost of uh, spaying a dog with pyometra as compared to spaying an ordinary, normal young dog, so the owner has decided not to proceed with the surgery. After all, if you think about it, if the dog is going to die and you pay a large sum, actually it's about $800. And uh, so in this case, the owner did not feel that uh, they want to do it, so they took the dog home yesterday, a day before yesterday. So yesterday, as we all best are very busy, normally we don't, don't bother to, to follow up. But I follow up on this case because there was a little boy, a little boy about uh, maybe 12 years old, who was very uh, sad and crying. So I asked the father what happened to the dog. He said that the dog was still passing out a lot of the reddish brown blood, which you will see in the other video. And uh, it's also uh, the Tajik, it's not, not eating. So I told him that it's best to, to get the dog spayed urgently in emergency spay and not to wait till he finished work and then come in. So he brought the dog in in the afternoon. And uh, since the dog had two days of uh, intensive treatment with drips and euphalite, so and antibiotics and painkillers, so Dr. Daniel operated on the dog and uh, yesterday at 2 p.m. As you can see, today is 12 p.m. This is a 2 p.m. operator on the dog. And, uh, and the dog recovered very well, actually. You can see the dog is quite active. And there's no more vagina discharge. Otherwise, before that, there was a lot of discharge from here. 
reddish brown, dirty brown discharge, and this part was swollen too. But after the operation, as you can see, with uh, antibiotics and painkiller, you can see the dog seems to be very active now. In these old female dogs, normally sterilization of the female dog is best because they do get breast tumors in old age. But not every one of them. Sterilized females seldom get it, but they do get it, but seldom. The chances of getting, you know, getting breast tumors are rather rare. Now, as you can see, before the, the surgery, on the first day, I can see that all these breast tumors were at least three times larger than now. Probably due to the fact that the dog had infection by metra and also due to ovarian influence. But now that the ovaries have been removed and you can see that the breast tumors have shrunk. But it's not gone, it's shrunk. Now you go at the other side, there's nothing here on the right side. There's no breast tumor. The reason being that there's no big breast tumor. The reason being that one vet had, had operated on this side two years ago. And uh, whether he did advise spaying or not, I wouldn't know. Or maybe the owner didn't want to spay the dog, and some owners don't like to spay dogs. So you can see, it's a very interesting uh, clinical study that two years later, on this part which had very large breast tumors and removed by the vet, there is nothing, practically no recurrence. Huh? No recurrence, but you can see there is a small one coming up there. A small module, this is a module. It's coming up here. But overall, this is definitely quite free uh, with the passage of time. Now this part was not operated at that time because there were no tumors at that time, so the vet didn't, didn't operate on the right hand side, uh, on the left side. But now you can see today the left hand side MG5, the mem memory gland number 5 is modular and then it's spread up upwards to MG4, this MG4, the memory gland number 4. Okay, then uh, it's spread to memory gland number 3. You can see there's some hard modules below. Memory gland number 2 is still so far so good. And uh, Overall, I do advise the owner to get, get this breast tumor removed about two weeks later if he wants to. Other than that, I would say this dog will go home and will be quite uh, alive and, 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 and uh, make the little boy happy because normally as fathers, one might be thinking about the cost, but for the children, the, the dog is family and uh, if we don't uh, get the dog treated, when treatment can save the dog, then uh, it will be very bad for the little boy because uh, obviously he can't afford the medical bills. And uh, in this case, I do reduce the bills by about $300 so that uh, at least this dog has a chance to survive and also a little boy can have his best friend back.